Hey, what's going on, Renaissance Lifers? Welcome back to Renaissance Life TV. On today's show, we're talking about how to start dreaming again. All right, welcome back, guys. If you're new to this channel, Renaissance Life TV is a channel for men who want to take their lives to the next level. Every week, I put out videos on personal growth and success and a different perspective on navigating life and relationships. So let's jump right into it, guys. How do you start dreaming again? So this is an interesting topic that I've had for a little while. Most of us stop dreaming as adults. We stop like when we're, you know, having children. When it, and when I talk about dreaming, I'm not talking about going to sleep and going into REM sleep in your REM cycle and actually having a dream. What I'm talking about is like dreaming in life, having real dreams. Um, about what you want to do, what you want to accomplish, who you want to be, what you want to become. You know, my daughter asked me the other day, Daddy, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I actually had an answer, and I thought it was so interesting that she was asking me that. And typically, as an adult, you'd be like, well, I'm already grown up. Like, I don't want to be something when I grow up. But I realized I have dreams again. And so I started dreaming again a couple years ago um, after like leaving school, after leaving law school. And part of that is like knowing what your dreams are. In order to start dreaming, you got to figure out what your dreams are. And so if you're not able to dream or if you've stopped dreaming, maybe that stopped for you as a child when you had an imagination, when the world was open to you and you knew like you could do anything and accomplish everything. But it's so important to find time to chase your dreams. So, you know, maybe we stopped dreaming at some point, but... Dreams are really important because dreaming is what pushes us forward. It gives us a new vigor for life. It gives us a reason to wake up in the morning, to spring out of bed. If what we're doing is going to our jobs and, you know, sort of making a living and that's not sort of in line with our purpose, what we want to do in our lives, what we want to accomplish, then we're not going to have sort of the zeal. So the energy to really go after it 100%. So one of the best feelings in the world is like not being able to sleep because your dreams are pushing you so much. You can't even sleep because you just want to wake up and try to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. You just want to try to get to the next level, become better as an individual. There's something you're trying to accomplish. There's something you're chasing after. That is a motivated person. That's somebody who has a different thing to live for. And so when I started dreaming again, that's kind of where I found myself, not being able to sleep, you know, always thinking about something, always trying to figure out a way to, you know, get to the next level, do something new, accomplish something. If you're not dreaming, it may be that you just didn't even realize that as adults, we should still have dreams, things we want to accomplish, things we want to do. And so if that's simply it, Start thinking about what is it that you want to accomplish, even at this stage in your life. Maybe there's something short term this year. Maybe there's something longer term. And you can start with some simple dreams of things you've wanted to do, things you want to accomplish. Maybe that's remodeling your house. Maybe that's, you know, fixing a particular thing in your house. And that's like a way to start chasing your dreams. Start having something that you you're living for, something you're trying to accomplish. And it's, you know, it's even more awesome if that thing you're trying to accomplish is tied to a bigger why, right? Has some sort of impact in the world. And so that's kind of the dreams that I started having. Like, I want to leave an impact. I want to leave a legacy. I want to do something to help somebody, right? I'm not perfect. I'm not like the, the, the symbol of like what somebody should be or how somebody should be. But I felt like there was something I could share. There was somebody out there that might need help, might need assistance where my experience could be helpful to them. And so that's part of doing this YouTube channel. That's part of the the writing the book that I wrote um, and all the different things that I'm trying to do is also trying to leave a legacy beyond when I'm here. So that's part of my dream, right? It's sort of the thing that I'm chasing after to try to accomplish. Challenge you if you're watching this video to start dreaming again. You'll be so amazed at like the difference that it makes in your life when you just have a dream, guys. Like it's that thing that almost gives you hope because you if you're dreaming again, you're living again. You're you're living in a new way. You're not just letting life happen to you, but you're taking life and sort of 
impacting life on your own terms. So guys, if you're gonna start dreaming again or chasing after your dreams, um, if you wanna learn about how to really get after it, how to actually start dreaming again, what you should be thinking about, you know, maybe how to remove some of the blockage that's keeping you from dreaming and chasing after your dreams, then, you know, put that in the comment section below. If you have a dream that you're chasing after, you know, share that with the community, um, share that with other people to hopefully inspire others to also start dreaming and living life at, a ne at the next level. All right, guys, so wanted to keep this video short and sweet. I hope it was helpful to you. I hope it encourages you to start thinking about chasing your dreams and actually chasing your dreams at the end of the day. Um, wishing you guys health and happiness. Until next time. Cheers.